All right, I just like to talk about how the people that you thought were tea partiers and tea baggers, they are tea baggers and tea partiers, but they're not a real group. They're AstroTurf, and they're only out there because their jobs were on the line because the people that were against those policies, they told them to go out there and act like you're against all these things, and even if you aren't, you do it because your job won't be here if you don't do it. So they got paid to do a job because their job depends on it. Um, so a lot of messed up things going on in America. This new tax bill that the president wants to bring, I think it's a big mistake. That's on him. It's on the American people's backs too, but he'll lose the next election on because I can't vote for somebody that does that. You know, he can say that it's going to help the economy right now, but if he puts that money towards small businesses like small business entrepreneurs or, you know, people that don't have a lot of equity and they can't get a loan from the bank now because they're holding our money hostage, much like the Republicans held him hostage and he gave in. Um, but they're not helping us. And tax cuts that take away from Social Security won't help either. Uh, tax cuts that give to millionaires who all, who all who won't do anything with it but spend it on the same thing they've been spending on, and that's nothing but holding it for their children. So they get it in with the, well, you know, the death tax, basically. You know, that's what it is. You're just giving money away to these people that just inherit it. Well, it's inherent tax, but, you know, it's a death tax because these people just give their money to, you know, to the next person as they die. I can't afford to die. An entrepreneur, I have to work hard for my money and I live hand to mouth and hopefully, you know, hopefully I can make it to the next day. Um, it's it's hard out here and people work two jobs and they can't see their money be given away to people that already have a lot of money. Just fix the tax code and I'm pretty sure people can take the hit and while you're fixing the tax code, make it right for people that aren't making any money. I mean, the bill doesn't tell you and they don't much talk about it on TV that People that make twenty to forty thousand dollars actually will see an increase in their taxes. They're not going, you know, get helped out by this. They're the working poor. They're the real backbone of society. They're the ones that actually keep the economy running. Because once that money is in their pocket, it goes right back out. Because they can afford to save. Okay, the housing crisis was a scam. You know, the oil, everything, the banking, it's, it's the credit card, it's all scams. Okay, we elect these people to to actually help us and. They're scam artists, too. They're only looking out for themselves because we put them in there. Tell them to stop getting health care for themselves. We don't want to pay for their health care anymore. Okay? If we don't want to pay for their health care anymore, then we should let them, you know, tell them to, you know, vote themselves no health care since the American people can't have it. It makes no sense. Why should they get what we American people pay for but we can't afford? It makes no sense. Okay? Uh, veterans should get home for working, for, you know, being deployed overseas and fighting, you know, doing combat duty and we should help them out as for many years if for as many years as they've done a tour duty and it makes no sense for us not to have homes for these people where we're have we have many homes in many cities that are just sitting there vacant it makes no sense to me uh i got a lot more to say but uh this is my first one in a while so first video in a while so if you have a comment leave it if not that's fine too but just remember what I say, and I think not just the president, but, you know, the country needs our help, and we the people have to stand up. There shouldn't be, there is a new party called there are no labels. Look, it has to be we the people. We can only speak for ourselves. If we can do it by being on YouTube, Facebook, and being everywhere else we can, you know, Twitter, whatever. But we have to stand up for ourselves, and I, I guess, like I said before in one of my other videos, this is the best way to do it, so vote and you know try to make a change wherever you can and don't let you know your free speech be run over by people that just don't like you or don't think you have an opinion thanks for watching